Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to judge the front of your car, the distance with the front of your car. Now this is a useful tutorial for parking your car, for doing anything with your car, for any time that you're going to bring your car to a stop. This will allow you to get a better gauge for the distance with regards to the front of your car. Now I'm going to be outlining a very simple thing that you can do that will work with absolutely any vehicle because different vehicles have different lengths of the front ends of the cars so I can't give you a one-size-fits-all approach with regards to look at this in the distance and whenever this reaches this height I can't do that because every car is different for the most part but instead I can give you a method that you can use to train your eye to judge the front of your car the distance for the front of your car now let's get right to it I'm gonna show you exactly what I've done with every car that I've owned or driven for a long period of time that has allowed me to really really to judge the front of the distance of the car really well now I'm gonna turn the camera around so what you as you can see right here I'm just in a parking lot and what I have over there is just a little bit of a snow bank at the front of the parking spot now this is the method that I use what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive up to the snow bank and I'm gonna stop a little bit in advance of when I think that I'm close and that's because I'm doing this for the for the first time well, I've done this many times with this car but I, if you're doing it for the first time you're gonna stop in advance you don't want to get overly close because you're not familiar with judging the distance yet so what you want to do is you want to get somewhat close and stop in advance of when you think you're really close so the car is in drive we're gonna drive forward what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive forward and I'm looking this is sort of where my the height is of my eyes, okay? So I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking at the front end of the car. You can see right there. And I'm going to stop here because I know that this is, I know I can go closer, but, I, you know, if I was doing this for the first time, I wouldn't want to get too close. Now I'm taking off my seatbelt. I'm unlocking the door. We're going to go outside. Now what I'm doing, as you can see, is I'm actually looking at how far away I am from the snowbank. So you can see there's the front of my car there's the edge of the snowbank okay so now I'm gonna go back inside of the car and I'm gonna sort of do that one more time by training my mind so now I'm gonna look one more time and I'm training my mind to know that when I when I see this this distance from the snowbank that that's how far I am okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the car in drive and I'm gonna move forward a little bit more let's go forward a little bit more just like that so now I know I'm closer but I know I still have a, a quite a bit of space over there I know that because like I said I've driven this car for quite a while so I'm gonna get out of the car one more time and as you can see right there I still have probably about close to a foot from when my license plate will surpass this little line right over here which is sort of the edge of the snowbank right there so what I'm gonna do next is I'm actually gonna get back in the car one more time I'm gonna put the car in drive and we're actually gonna move forward just a little bit more so I'm gonna move forward just a little bit more and I'm gonna stop right there so now what I've done is I put the car in park you can see what I'm seeing right now so I know I know that my license plate is very very close to the the line that I outlined there with the snow so let's get out of the car and let's look one more time As you can see right there, the front end of the car is about an inch from the snow. And that's the accuracy that you can develop. Okay, so let's get back in the car so I can finish this video. So basically, what you're looking for is you're actually looking for continually getting closer, but not hitting the wall per se so I would recommend doing this with something like this uh, a curb stop a snowbank something that you know isn't like directly in front of you something that 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 I would recommend doing it with a snowbank because you can't really cause much damage with a snowbank if you're inching towards it okay but once you've done it a few times whether it's with a wall or a snowbank or anything like that you're gonna get much better at judging the front distance of your car so that's why I recommend this method because it allows you to train your eye now if you take two hours one day on a Saturday a Sunday an evening whatever the case is <clears throat> if you take two hours and you practice this for an hour to two hours you're gonna be great at judging the front distance of your car okay you don't need to do this for months for years it's something that is like a one-time thing if you're willing to put in the time even if you do it for half an hour four times you know four times in a week you'll be great at judging the front distance of your car and you'll know that judgment for your car 
for the length of time that you're driving it. So if you're gonna own the car for 10 years, five years, one year, six months, I recommend using this method because it will save you from damages if you try to get too close and you hit something because you'll be able to judge the front distance of your car. And it'll also make you a better driver with regards to parking and stopping and so forth. Stopping before a certain line at a light or at an intersection, excuse me, whatever the case is. But that's basically it. In this video, I've shown you how to judge the distance of your car, the front of your car. It's a simple method and this will work with any car. That's why I like it. You can use this with a huge pickup truck, a tiny little compact car, whatever car, it will work. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. Have you used this method? Did it work for you? Do you like it? Are you going to try it? Let me know down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.